What's up, guys? Here I am, Millennial Mac, and I'm with my dog, Chris Alex. But some of y'all don't know, you know he a pastor too, hey. right? I know, right? So, I'm super excited. I've known Chris since, ooh, 2015. Way back. We go back, you know what I'm saying? Like, back in the day. So, Chris is, if not one of the most creative people. Stop. I have yeah. ever met. I'm no, and I'm not kidding when I say. I mean, look, look, look at his look though. The like, gas. I mean, come on. The gas. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then it's like on top of that, he, you done. What was it? Clothing lines, mm -hmm. albums. Yep. <laughs> uh, sing, dance. You, oh, he can dance too. <laughs> he can dance. Oh my gosh. You play the piano, guitar. I seen you do violin. Mm -hmm. Uh, drums. I've seen you play drums. Yeah. Guitar, mm -hmm. but like electric and acoustic. Mm -hmm. He is literally <laughs> the most creative person. Clothing line. I already said clothing line. See, I can't stop. Like, exactly. you know what I'm saying? Thank God. God is good. Like, he's got a beer. Beer game. <laughs> hey, beer game. <laughs> but anyway, so I've known Chris for a while. And basically, what we're going to talk about is um, standing alone. You know, when you're isolated from everyone else, it's difficult when you are a leader. You know what I mean? And as a leader, you're going to face times where you feel like you can't talk to nobody because God wants you in this place. Like when Moses, Moses went up to the mountain for, you know, 40 days. Well, was he in the mountain 40 days? Ooh, I, don't read, I promise I'll read my Bible. But you know, you know, it get a little foggy sometimes if you ain't reading uh, the Old Testament. I stay in the New Testament. Amen. We just you know, say people just It says renew know. your mind, not re-old your mind. Amen. Let me stop. But anyways. <laughs> <laughs> so, but Moses was on the mountain mm -hmm. 40 days, 40 nights, you know, seeking God. Mm -hmm. So he was isolated from the children of Israel. Mm -hmm. And then on top of that, when he came back, they started to build a golden cop. Like, brah, you know what I mean? So it's like, I can understand, you know, when you're alone or whatnot and you're seeking God and you're isolated from everybody else. But then it's like, when you finally get away from being alone, I can only imagine people not where they need to be. And like, did I pray? What, what, what's going on? So anyways, I got my boy here. Tell me who you are. Introduce yourself, man. Hi, like you said, my name is Chris Alex. On my YouTube channel, I would go, it's the C to the H to the R to the I to the S, so don't stress, but I'm not going to do all that. Um, but yeah. But he just did, though. Eh? <laughs> no key. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm just here to, uh, it's just, it's just really exciting. I always wonder what it would be like to be like in front of this camera with T. So it's just kind of dope to actually be here. I always imagine what it might look like. But um, yeah, it's just, um, even coming into leadership, because I've always been the son of like, kind of a leader for most of my life. I don't like saying it like that, but I really have. Um, there are certain things that like I've had to endure based on like rejection and stuff like that, just being isolated in general because I couldn't do all the things that other people did because my parents were trying to help teach me how to be set apart and teach me how to be holy. And so it was hard growing up, especially because kids are not about standards. They're kids, they wanna have fun. Mm. And so for me, like I wasn't trying to be about no standard. I wanna go out and have fun and play with my friends, <laughs> you know, but. Um, Being a PK is tough. It's tough, man, it's tough. You had you had somebody else come on here. Sure before. did. That I might good. do a whole series on just PKs. Shh, look, I'm down, I'm trying to be a <laughs> sure. that was That was really good because rejection is a thing that really like we do endure very much on, on a serious level where it's different from just like dealing with the rejection of people in general. You're dealing with a rejection for a purpose. Like you're being rejected because of your stance for Christ and you're being rejected because of who you stand for and represent, you know, and the enemy does that on purpose. Like, yeah. he, you know, and not to, you know, blame the devil, 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 but that does happen with, with, you know, leaders and kids of leaders and like just people that God has called in general. Right. You know? Absolutely. Yeah. Well, Hey, you heard the sealer. You already see the fountain of wisdom coming out of that mouth. Boy, you better rivers of living water so shall flow from your belly. Right hey, Amen. <laughs> so you said that you wanted to talk about standing alone and yes. standing alone also, you know, equals like isolation or whatnot. Mm -hmm. Why? Why did you want to bring that up? Why do you want to talk about that? What, what's going on? Well, in the days that we're living in, we're living in very unprecedented times, and everyone, basically, we're, I don't want to say we're living in the last days, but bro, we living in the last, the last, the last, the last days. Last, the last, <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, like, yeah. God is calling so many of us to, to do what we're called to do. Like, we all have a different purpose, and we've all been assigned to a different calling. And, you know, the Bible says many are called and few are chosen. That's right. And many of us are being tested right now to see if, like, we're going to step up to the plate and do what God has called us to do, I mean, people, people, people of God, yeah. and and or if we're going to fall and decide that we don't want to follow his instructions. But there's a detrimental... Mm. Each of our callings are so important to the body of Christ and to the world because we're right. the, our purpose is leading people to Christ. And so, like when we when we when we stand 
it is often very difficult because we feel like we don't have support or we don't have people standing with us. And it's hard to be to be lonely and alone. It's it's hard to like even mm. to, you want friends, you want companionship, you want people that are like there to support you and you feel it can be hard to stand and especially when it comes to um being a Christian uh one of the things that we're required to do is stand with God and build a relationship with him and that is it's not easy because he's invisible <laughs> so it's like no. God like I want to like I want a hug right now and you've not you're not like gonna physically hug me and I want that and so like it can be hard when you because you start to compare companionship and it's like mm. you want Sometimes, like, building a relationship with the Lord, it takes such dedication because the, it, you can't see him. Yes, consistency. Consistency is key. Exactly. In the walk with God. Straight, Absolutely. straight up. Like, with praying and reading the word. Y'all know this already. Like, look, come on. Y'all know the deal. But, like... They know. They know. They know. I'm talking about this. Come on now. Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> like, but it, it's, it's, it's so true. So, anyway, um, in, this time, in these times that we're living in, like, we're all... The Bible says that God was going to, he's going to pour his spirit out at the, in these last days. And we are in those days. Like right. this, with the, all the things that are going on, like we got witchcraft is like popular now. Come like, on. Somebody. Like we out here doing it like, like this is the Harry like Potter. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, and, and so right now, like it's a time where we shouldn't be afraid to be who we are called to be, like be Christians and really, really believers, believers, believers. followers of Christ, you know, and operate in the power, the supernatural power of the Holy Ghost. Now, I know I'm going a little far, but this is no, 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 no. They know Bishop Williams. Like, come on now. They know. They know. I didn't get that from nowhere. And listen, Willie. Sarkar. Let, let he, Hallelujah. Hey, let's see. Represent. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he said Willie. Hey, Willie. He ain't going to call Bishop Williams. What? Bishop Willie? I'm done Pastor with you. What? Come on, somebody. Pastor Don't Willie. Don't make me grab my wig. I'm going to grab my wig. Let me talk stuff. Anyway. Hey, bro. But, yeah, man. So, you know, I just I just want people, even like what, where, what, I'm, what, what I'm standing for right now, and I don't want to say standing for, but where, where I am in ministry, one of the main things that I, I'm very adamant about is making sure that people and uh, our, my brothers and sisters in Christ are prepared to go out in the world and like and are equipped to be able to right. handle what's coming at us because it's not these are not easy times. Like we want peace and we want it to be peaceful, but the enemy's not gonna stop attacking us just because we don't want chaos. You know, he's still gonna attack. That's and true. So for for me, I wanna make sure everyone's prepared. Yet. No, no, definitely. Well, first off, mm -hmm. you know, uh, since you are a pastor, mm -hmm. tell them the name of your church. Tell them, you know, who you are. Yeah. Tell them that because we saying pastorism. They're like, okay, where your church at? <laughs> we are um, okay. So we are called New Genesis Nation. I always got to do the point. New Genesis Nation, um, engine engine for short, NGN. So you know, like kind of like an engine room room. Um, but this this was um, this first of all, this was God's vision. I did not want to pastor at all. Like I really was against it, like my whole life. And I'm sure most PKs running. can. I was run, running. Oh, 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 listen, I was running. I did not want to be a pastor. Like, uh -huh. and it's crazy to be sitting here saying this because look at you now. Exactly, you know. And it, mm -hmm. but only God could have done it. Like God is the one that got me this far, and I thank God for it. You know, he he knew what he had planned for me, and he was like, I'm not giving up until you become it. So he did not let me go. I would have so many. But aren't you glad God did that though? I am. I am, bro. Because am. God is such a like a pursuer mm -hmm. of a man. You know what I mean? Uh, and by man, I mean like the human race. Yes. Um. You know where it's like I'm not giving up on you. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like I want you. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because not only will you find your true self and your true identity. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? In me, but I'm gonna make you everything that you ever dreamed of and even more. <laughs> That's you right. know the Bible says um, that God wants to do exceedingly well he can do exceedingly yes. and abundantly above all we ever ask or think absolutely, absolutely. you know what i mean yep. you're praying for a camry when god wants to give you the cadillac come on hi y'all so but anyways <laughs> keep going <laughs> <laughs> yeah man so you know um when it comes to just the the, the i don't want to say not rejection the rebellion of being a pk which i'm sure that you guys kind of went over a little bit when you had that yeah um cuz most of us we all have like pastor's kid syndrome like we don't want to be a pastor's a pastor's kid or a pastor or whatever it is like we feel like we'll lose our identity but when we do that and we, a lot of us if you notice like a lot of pastor's kids like they're very unique but on the low and they feel like mm. they can't show it because it will like 
I don't know, be detrimental to their church's reputation. And the family. The family. Yeah, like all the pressure. A lot, bro. It's, it's hard. And, but I'm here to say, look, we can be ourselves. Like, we are, God made us ourselves. You know, if we're not compromising and we're not in sin, feel free. Be yourself. Like, please be yourself. Because it's, you're not in a You cage. see what he said? <laughs> you're not compromising or being in sin. Feel free to be yourself. That's one thing that I, I learned about God. Y'all know me. I have a gigantic, huge personality. I am very outgoing. And when I gave my heart to the Lord, I thought that I wasn't going to be able to be my, you know, crazy, silly, outgoing, singing, dancing act. What? Like, I never thought, like, For I was going to be able to be myself. And one thing that I learned about God is that God is not big on changing personality. That's right. God is actually really big on changing your character. character. Duh. Exactly. That is the biggest thing that God has been on, like, changing, is the character. Because character right. is key. Character is what keeps you at that high place. Come on. You know what I mean? Come and on. character keeps you in a place of isolation that God may have assigned you to be in for a certain amount of time. Yes. You know what I mean? So that you can go and uh, fill up the cup or whatever that God has called you to fill in that season for somebody to minister, to have the anointing, to have the revelation that you need yep. to minister to somebody. Facts. You know what I mean? Straight up. So I think that's powerful. And I, I want to get back, though. Like, yeah. I want to get back to the isolation part. I want to yes. get back to that. So... Um, I had a lot of... Now, ironically, it's so funny because, like I mentioned earlier, like... Um, Isolation was the name of my first mixtape I came out with in like 20, 2013. And I didn't know like things were going to turn like this. I moved to Florida from New York. Um, I lived in New York for 19 years. And in uh, 2012, we moved to Florida because um, my parents were told by God to start work here. Um, and so that whole year and a little bit beyond that, I was separated from everything that I knew. Every All my friends were in New York. And I was becoming like a little figure there. And it was like... And it, it wasn't really for the Lord, but I was like satisfied with what I was. I was like, well, people are starting to know me. Like I'm getting all these friends, mm. and like people around the city know my name. And I moved here, and I was like, God, why the heck did you have me move here? Why the heck I gotta be here by myself? Now you know I already had a hard time making friends, and I gotta do it all over again. You mm. know, and but I was, I was very, I was, I felt very down because I was like, dang, like I'm away from everybody. I'm isolated from everything that I love. And so I made a whole mixtape about it with like a little laptop because I had no, I didn't have a studio yet. I had a, a laptop and a little microphone. I went and bought, and I started recording songs. And um, it's just so crazy because now I see the purpose and why God allowed me to be isolated like that. Because if I stayed around everyone I was I was with in New York, like I wouldn't have taken the time. First of all, I wouldn't even even had the space to figure it out. Because if you if you've been in New York, you know it's busy all the time. Go 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 go. You know, and like I. I was so involved and I had so much I was already doing involved in like hip hop culture and dance and light feet culture and all that kind of stuff and fashion and all that. Mm. Like I was um I was too focused on that to really listen to what God was trying to say because for me the, my creativity and the church world felt like two different worlds for me. Like that so I couldn't imagine them meshing together. That always used to scare mm. me like it would be it would be weird to me. I'd be like, "Oh, a friend from there is like going to my church." Like this doesn't even match, but like God was God is trying in general like to bring us out of traditional church and y'all have heard that a million times Ooh. but like he he's really trying to bring us tell them so out. not 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 everybody knows what tradition is because some people are really accustomed to the usher has to wear white gloves mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know what I mean yes. like or you have to wear pants or you have to wear dresses mm -hmm. like tell them. Because tradition is such a ambiguous word. Yes. It can mean different things to other people. That's very but true. sometimes people really relate Christianity to traditional things. Right. You know what I mean? So it's it's important, you know, when you said tradition, like mm -hmm. tradition is something that is man made. Yes. You know what I mean? Right. Like nowhere in the Bible does it say that the usher has to wear white gloves. No, now, that's just tradition. You know that's what I'm right. saying? Especially in like Baptist churches. Or like, <laughs> yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or even when it comes to the whole dresses thing, and I always I always talk about that because I'm just like they were all wearing dresses back in the Bible days. Now, don't go back in the past and tell them that because they'd be offended. But the Bible days. Me. But then it's like pants didn't even exist. So how come women now can't wear pants? Mm. That's a whole nother. That's, that's, that's for another day. Now. That's oh. for another day. But that's tradition. Yes. That is what's tradition. And that is, no, this is how we do these things. And then we have Child this. And then we have that. And then we do this this way. And it's not even biblical. <laughs> 
He said it, bro. He said it. No, because I've talked about it on the... I've talked about it on before. Like, you know, I'm, I'm so against tradition. Mm. But the thing is, when I got saved, and I don't... I didn't expect us to go into tra- tradition hey, like this. But when I got saved, I really thought that there was like a certain way. I was kind of religious in certain things, but God had to break me out of that mold. Yes. I was like, oh, no, I can't listen to Christian rap mm. <laughs> because that's just... Uh-uh, because of the world and wow. this and that. But then you're like, oh, so you're trying to cap God because now God can only use gospel music to reach people that's a lie see gospel music is is not just supposed to be a sound it's supposed to be the content but we, when we we associate gospel music with how it sounds when it's not even about that like it, matter of fact the traditional gospel music that we listen to now would have been considered like low-key an abomination back in the day like yo what the how the do you know those instruments that sound like the world like mm. you know and Things we forget that the body of Christ, although like we don't have to be of the world, we're still supposed to be progressive. It doesn't mean that we stop growing or stop advancing because of of things changing a little bit. That's not the, that's not the point. Like in heaven, you think music is gonna sound like gospel music in church? You know how advanced no. heaven is. Like Come we gonna have like all kinds of the kind of vehicles and like. Go, are you kidding? You know how high tech heaven is. So like I'm, I'm just like vehicles in heaven. Like who knows, bro? Who knows? Like, we gonna fly. Shoot, I've been having crazy dreams. Listen, I'm, I'm like it's funny, bro. Hi y'all. <laughs> but for real, it's it's really it's it's really just like God is advanced. Like God is so advanced. Like we we don't have to. As long as we're giving God glory, that's yeah, the important part. Absolutely. As, you know, as, if we're not com- again with the compromising, if we're not compromising, God is not angry with us, right? And Amen. and of course, of course, like in general in your life, like you should be obedient to what God is telling you to do specifically. But I'm talking about within the music situation, like just give God the glory. It, 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 it should be simple as that because God has given us all different talents and gifts and different like different facets that are so different. Like we were not made to be the same. So like right. neither should our creativity or our music. Like they're individual to who God created us to be. And that's kind of what I stand for. You know, like it's, yeah. it's about I mean I mean I'm pretty sure everybody looking at you can be like, yeah, he's definitely being <laughs> him. You know, the chain, literally a chain, you know, the braided hair, like Different, you know it's what I'm like saying? like a swirl now. It's exactly. Like <laughs> so it's just like, you break the traditional look of what a pastor would look like. Just you know by being saying? myself. That's being true. himself, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but the character, the you know what I'm saying, is the key. Exactly. You know what I mean? Exactly. Um, I want to touch on something yes. that you said with the isolation part. You mm. know, you felt so isolated. Mm. One of the things that came to my sprite. Whoa. Whoa. My spirit. But I like to say my sprite. Sprite. One thing that came to my spirit was isolation does not mean cancellation. No. Meaning like, okay, now you're away from everything and everything's done. It's like canceled your destiny, your purpose. Like, no, that is just the beginning because, you know, he that dwells in the secret Uh-oh, place the of the most high Come on, shall, shall abide, abide under the shadow of the almighty. Amen. So I think about... That's, uh, sorry, that's, that's no. one of the mixtapes. See, I told sorry. you you could sing. I ain't even out of man to sing yet. Yeah, that song ain't even out yet. <laughs> <laughs> so like, I just think it's... it's so important so many things are birthed mm-hmm. in the isolation in the yeah. incubation oh, yeah. the incubation stage <laughs> you know what i mean mm-hmm. um i've heard the term you know cave before stage wow. like sometimes you really like you know even with like david like you know he was the shepherd's boy yeah you know what i'm saying yeah. and he was isolated he was so you know what i'm saying like he was killing lions tags the bears yes. oh, oh my, my. <laughs> come on come Get on the channel <laughs> it's only awesome to say that <laughs> Oh, see, I can't bring people like me on here because this why it took take me so long. Folks. This is why it took me so long for me to get here. <laughs> so done. But like during his isolation, that was when he worshipped God. That was when David was worshiping God. He was getting God's presence. And he was being and prepared. Like, he was getting prepared. Isolation is preparation. Hey, come on, come on. That's the whole title right there. Isolation is preparation. Preparation. It really is. But when you when you utilize that time, mm-hmm. when you utilize that time, there are three things that you're never gonna get back. Your time. Your time, mm. your energy, and your money. That's right. Ooh, that's you a whole know? other message. That's so true. And I heard this uh, from a YouTuber. I wish I could like say her name, but there were three things that she said on how to love God. And mm. she, but she believed is that you can love God with your time. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. You can love God with your money. Yes, you can. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> and I know I said energy, mm. but. 
this what she said was obedience. Ooh, that's definitely and that requires some serious concentration energy. That should be number one. You know what I mean? <laughs> so and that's what she said how you can learn to love God more. Yes. And um I definitely like need to put that video below because she <laughs> like oh my gosh. Uh but I just think it's so important, like isolation is only preparation, never cancellation. That's right. That's right. You know? That's right. But when you, when you utilize the time, mm -hmm. the the energy that you need for the purposes of God, that's God right. has no choice but to... When you humble yourself up with the Lord, he will exalt you. See, that's the thing. See, that's so good that you said that because that's absolutely how he works. Like God... Matthew 6, 33 says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God, but no. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and mm -hmm. his righteousness, and all these things shall be added, added to you. You're seeking first his righteousness. So sometimes God has to push us. Not even, I don't want to say push us, but sometimes God has to isolate us so that we can be away from the noise around us. And sometimes the noise is sinful, and he needs us to be consecrated before him. And sometimes you have to be pulled out of sin or pulled out of an environment of sin in order mm. to lose the taste for it. Because you, mm. if you're around something for so long, like you get used to it. Like yeah. if you know, if, if I, when, I'm from New York. Being in New York for such a long time, you get it, it's fast paced. Everything is always moving. You get used to it. You don't even realize when you leave the state, it's like, oh, I can breathe. Oh, there's air. Like you, you, mm. you start to like really. You realize how different, and you also realize how dirty it is. <laughs> the streets be dirty up in there. Yeah. New York is popping though. Don't get me wrong. You see, <laughs> do you not understand my love for New York? <laughs> do you not understand? That's why I'm like, how did it take me so long to get on here? I'm, I'm from I the source, baby. Come on. <laughs> well, let me stop. All right. Well, thank you guys so much. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, bro, it, it's it's um, you know, God God isolates us for a reason. He puts us. And, and we get so nerve-wracked when we're isolated because we're like, I'm away from everybody. I'm away from society. But God is like, well, yeah, just for a little while because I want you to build a relationship with me. I'm, I literally made the universe. Like, what do you want from me? Like, I mm. love you more than anyone else. And, and so... That, and I love what you said, though. Because whenever we say, like, what do you want from me? Mm -hmm. The connotation behind it is you keep asking me for something. But God is literally saying, what do you want? Yes. He is asking you. What do you want? Man, I'm <laughs> like, feeling the anointing on this. Amen. I <laughs> God Pick is anoint good. put down anointed. Amen. Anointing. You feel the spirit. Anointing in the comments. But seriously, like, you know, God is literally saying what he said, ask and you shall receive, Amen. seek and you shall find, knock and the door shall be open. That's right. Like he's literally like, what do you want from me? With man, it's impossible. With God, all things are possible. Amen. So like I just think about that. Like we literally have the the ability to believe God. Yes. The greatest thing that God has given us is our faith. Come on. Come on. Faith the size of a mustard seed. You know what you I'm know saying? How small them things are. Like, like we can do incredible things, but like it all starts with really believing and having faith that God will do exceed once again exceedingly. Exceedingly, you know what I mean? about we could ask for things. So, um, I just I think it's really important, man. Like everything that you said. You know, and think about uh, like yeah. even, I don't I don't want to I don't I don't like you know I can be long winded I ain't, I'm learning how to not be. he won't be long winded for long. <laughs> for long, long. This is my channel right here. Hey, but um. It, even even when, even when it comes to like the isolation aspect, it because it's a preparation and because it is not a cancellation, it is creating you. To, and I don't want to say creating you, but it's molding you into a, a mold where you learn how to abide in Christ for the things that you are desiring. And not even that, but it also your desires become his desires. When you spend enough time with a person, like sometimes like they rub off on you. You know, with God, it's the same way. Like when you spend time with him, like his 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 character, it rubs off on you naturally because you're spending time with him. Yeah. But in the Bible it says, if ye abide in me and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will, will and it shall be done unto you. Yeah, yeah. Like God yeah. literally wants to give us the desires of our heart. He just wants to make sure that our hearts are pure before him. And then he can give us the desires because God doesn't give us anything that's unpure. He's going to give us what's in his will. That's why he said, delight in the Lord, and then he'll give you your heart's desires. <clears throat> when you're delighting in him, then his character is going to come upon you, and then he's going to give you deep down, like, his desires, but it's going to make it your desires. This man reads the word, you know? by the way, y'all. Yeah, you see it right here, okay? This, this is the evidence of the word right The evidence. Right there. The evidence. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm done with you, man. Yeah, bro. But, but <laughs> anywho, uh, so Chris, you said, mm -hmm. well, you have currently right now yes. a whole, like, an album or something like that? I, What's going on? It is, a, absolutely, it's a mixtape. It's actually, th let me show you the... We actually wow. got the, uh, wow. a draft physical copy for wow. you. Wow, I don't think the light is too. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, man. It's just like compacted. So, what is it called? Interrupted? Interrupted. Tell us about it. And it looks like it's in a. What kind of 
Thank three you. prong uh, CD case, like the video games and uh, like the old video games, like PlayStation, like in one. The yeah. most creative it's, person <laughs> I have ever like met that. in my life. Like, I don't I'm have any kidding. help with this, by the way. This is all the Lord's inspiration and getting a chance to like, you know, I've been harboring this stuff for a long time. But anyway, I don't want to talk. But um, yeah, it, it's called Interrupted Career Plan. It's basically about, um, well, one, it, it deals with uh, what it is to be living and standing alone for Christ, standing when it seems like you have no one around you that really wants to live for him like that. Like, you know, like mm. there's, there's living for God and then there's like really being dedicated. Like, and I don't even want to make a difference between those two, but like living for God means you're dedicated. Like you're dedicated to him. Like you're dedicated to serving Living. Him. Yeah. And so I had a plan. I had my own plan. I knew what I wanted to do in my life. Like I knew I wanted to be a celebrity. I wanted to be famous. I wanted to be a designer. I wanted to be a famous music artist. I wanted to be like the next Prince Michael Jackson. I was trying to be that. And God was like, well, that's your plan, but I have a plan that I created you for. And so like this mixtape pretty much sums up that ideal like when i had a plan god came and interrupted my plan and said look this is what i have for you so like this i have need of you this is important i need you to do this i don't make stars i make servants that's what he told me and so like i'm like all right so let me serve you <laughs> because you shine when you serve the lord we have the light of christ inside of us and so it'll come out as you do what he says as you obey him the light of christ will come out as you spend time with him come on think about moses when he was saw the lord's freaking backside low key like his face was shining <laughs> when he came down there they could barely even look upon him. they had to put a veil on his face and it's just like this is just like a musical personification of what it means to really stand for Christ alone when you have no one by your side to help you. When you, when it, regardless, because mm. so many of us, like, we have, like, I'm, you're my friend. I have friends, really, but a lot of us don't have anybody. Most of us, when we, when we first live for Christ, like, we're kind of like the elephant in the room because you're just like, where did this guy come from being a Christian? Like, yeah. when nobody around you is saved. You oh, know? Hold up, Matt, hold up. Yeah, yeah. What you said. So the title, the title, first of all, is Interrupted. Interrupted Career Plan, yeah. So awesome. ICP for short, ICP. Love that. I mean, Chris, thank you. Absolutely, thank you for having me. I've been looking forward to this forever. Y'all think we should do a part two? I, I, I'm feeling the part two. A part two? I'm, I'm feeling the part two. I'm we gonna do. Man. We gonna do this part two. We gonna do part two. I don't know about you. We gonna do hey, part two. I'm we with the part two. two. We found the But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, Chris. Thank you so much for coming on. Absolutely. Once bro. again, this is Millennial Mac Channel. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment below, and all of this information. Um, Engine, New uh, Genesis <laughs> Nation, his church, all that information will be below in the description box. Hope you guys have a good one. See you next time. Peace Bye. Out.